If your Windows system is running slow, crashing frequently, or displaying error messages, corrupted system files might be the culprit. Instead of performing a full reinstall and losing your files, you can repair Windows while keeping your data intact. In this video, I'll walk you through the best ways to fix system files and components without losing your personal files or apps. Solution one, using the System File Checker, SFC, to fix corrupt files. The System File Checker, SFC, is a built-in Windows tool designed to scan and restore corrupted or missing system files. To use it, open Command Prompt as an administrator and type SFC slash SCANNOW. This will start a system-wide scan and attempt to repair any damaged files. The process may take some time, but once it's complete, you should restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Solution 2. Repairing Windows with DISM Commands If the SFC tool doesn't fix everything, the Deployment Imaging Service and Management tool, DISM, can help. This command repairs the Windows image, which is essential for running the SFC tool properly. Open Command Prompt as an administrator and run DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. The process may take a while, but once it's finished, running SFC slash ScanO again can ensure all system files are properly repaired. Solution 3. Resetting Windows Without Losing Files If none of the previous solutions work, resetting Windows while keeping your files is a good option. To do this, go to Settings, select Update and Security, then Recovery, and choose Reset This PC. Select the option to keep your personal files and Windows will reinstall itself while preserving your data. This method refreshes the operating system, eliminating any corrupted system components. Solution 4. Checking for Windows Updates Keeping Windows updated ensures that any known issues with system files are patched by Microsoft. Open Settings, go to System and check for available updates. Installing the latest updates can automatically fix system file issues, as many updates include bug fixes, and performance improvements. That wraps up this guide on repairing Windows by reinstalling it while keeping your files. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future tech tips. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need further help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.